Hey, hello. Good to see you. Come in. Hey. Pa, 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 pa. Yeah. So, I mean, every note just kind of Absolutely. fires just away. Absolutely, just it up. Maybe we go from here. A story I would like to tell you is a familiar one. A European Jew, one of the lucky ones, escaping Nazis during the Second World War to resettle in the New World, leaving old life behind for a hope of survival. In many instances, that's the happiest possible outcome in such a tragic scenario. However, forgotten in this story is the cost of this forced immigration, professional and personal. Forgotten in the story is a cost we paid as a society for a loss of a genius is a loss to all of us. And Carl Rathaus was a genius. I was lucky enough to have my immigration experience at an early age. At 14, all the roads are still open in front of you. It's not like that for everyone. When my father moved to America, at the first job orientation he had, they told him, it doesn't matter what you were in the past life, a scientist, a doctor, a teacher, it doesn't matter. You would not succeed in that way here. For a German refugee during the Second World War, fleeing unspeakable horrors, losing not just their possessions, but their sense of self, prospects seemed even dimmer. When you immigrate, you do not bring over your successes, your triumphs. You just bring over your fears. Fears that want to muffle your voice. Fears that want to make you invisible. Composing in silence of safety and obscurity. like to see the people whom we can understand easily. Karl Rothaus is extremely hard to understand. A wonderful composer, but he doesn't fit into a neat category. Karl Rothaus, who are you? I wonder. <laughs> well, we we're gonna find out. The advent of Nazism and the sudden um, rejection and the closing of a career and the, the uh, necessity of emigration was catastrophic, psychologically catastrophic. He moved everything from Berlin to London. They had, they had oriental rugs, they had piano, they had china, everything. They had a library, you know, everything they owned went down in, in the Blitz. They came here with, they came to the States with nothing. At the University at Queen's College where he was, uh, which became a very terrific place to study music, remains so, uh, and he's largely responsible for creating uh, a great music school. And his focus on teaching may have influenced um, his own ambitions as a composer. Looking at a piece here called Polonais uh, Symphonique, and uh, Polonais being the quintessential uh, dance form perfected by Chopin, uh, and the symphony being the quintessential Austro-German form um, combining everything. combining them, you know, someone who, who straddles this world between Poland and Germany, between Chopin, Mahler. Really beautiful, uh, beautiful work. Um, evokes a lot of feelings. In many ways, Rathaus succeeded in his newfound homeland. For people in his life, his friends, his students, his presence was life-changing in its impact. But as a composer, he failed. He failed to reach new audiences, failed to reach new performers. But his failure was not just his failure. And his loss was not just his loss. When a once in a generation, singular creative voice is silenced, Everyone loses, and everyone is responsible. 